win SEC title? Oh, it felt great. Uh, you know, that's a real recent weekend, Tennessee 4. Uh, now, like, you know, stuff in the past. Uh, no, nah, but it felt great. Uh, being all this time here, see paid off uh, with all the guys. I think we had a – so far we've been having a hell of a season. Uh, I think – all the guys have been doing a great job, staying together, and we still got a lot of great things ahead of us. So can't get distracted with that. So it's two uh, seeing the days. It's you and Joe. You guys have put a lot into it. What did you, what do you feel like you've got out of these five years here? Oh, so many uh, countless things, to be honest, uh, from relationships uh, with the guys, bonds that we've created that are, are going to be there forever. Uh I think I've grown as a person and as a basketball player, uh, which were the main two things that I wanted to get uh, out of the University of Tennessee. Uh, but most importantly, I uh, created a home here. Uh, really, Knoxville is going to be in my heart forever. I uh, love the city, love the people around, uh, love everything about it. Uh, and on top of that, all the people that, uh, in their own way, they encountered or helped me uh, to become the person I am uh, right now, I'm really great, grateful for. And yeah, really love everything about it. The memories that the reset got. Uh, I got plenty of them, but of course, celebrating it's always nice. Uh, definitely the SEC tournament uh, that we won that day was first thing that comes out to my mind, and just all the hours that was spent together. You good, Reese? Uh, now, but all the hours, uh. And all the grind that we put with the guys uh, in here, that most of the times people don't see it. Uh, I think that's the main takeaway, all the hours that we put together and all the relationships that are going to carry over over the time of the years. What did you learn from that first game against Kentucky? They're a really good team. Uh, they're a talented team on the last couple games. I think it was the last four games. They put over 100 points. Uh, offensively, they're really, really good. Uh, they got some freshmen that are really explosive and really good. And, yeah, we just got to be us, uh, do what we do every single day, uh, stick together, and then just have fun. Oh, the world. Uh, he's been uh, my partner, uh, my best friend, brother, however you want to call it, since day one. Uh, like I mentioned before, we also have other guys uh, be that same role, like Will Roche and Olivier. Uh, I think that was the main core of guys that with stay together until this last year uh, we all stay together uh and we're like a family the main core and especially with joe uh, i think it's been my brother and i couldn't have gotten in, uh, to where i'm at right now if it wasn't for him and yeah we just gotta enjoy whatever we have left and then i know we're gonna be brothers for the rest of our lives whatever we end up at what did that hug with uh going one in the net the vein oh uh it meant a lot to me, uh, and I know it meant a lot to him. Uh, seeing those kind of situations where people come back uh, to watch us play, people that have been in the program, means a lot to us, uh, showing that support and that love. And it's been different people uh, throughout the season. Uh, in some way, they've shown their support. And, uh, I mean, I love Grant and seeing them, seeing him after the game was great. Uh, we got to share that moment, and I know he's another person, even though we didn't play together, that – uh, we're gonna have a lot of memories and a lot of uh, we're gonna share a lot of stuff in the future. Uh, it's just the person he is, and yeah, like I was saying, all the guys that in their own way uh, they either showed up or by contacting us at some point, they've showed their support. Uh, it just means a lot to us. What about that hug with your dad? What what did that mean? Uh, that was just a beautiful moment, to be honest. Uh, I know how much my family supports me, uh, how much they love me, and. I want to say you're grateful for everything that has happened to me here at Tennessee, all the people that have helped me. Uh, but being able to see them being here, I think it's one of the biggest things. Uh, I think it gets overlooked most of the times. Uh, being a long time, last time I saw him was when I went home. It was like six or five or six months ago. Uh, knowing how tight I am with my family, it's kind of a hard time to stay away from them. Uh, not being able to see them on a daily basis and just see them uh, be here, it just really fills my heart and then on top of that winning that championship at South Carolina and then seeing it after uh it just meant a lot to me Rick talked about you and Josiah's cornerstones and rocks of this program what goes into being that and what does that mean to you like being a cornerstone I don't know what a cornerstone is first of all but I guess it's a good thing uh 
but no, uh, I really miss a lot. Uh, I know Joe and I have spent a lot of years here. I uh, dedicated a lot of our time of our lives uh, to being a Tennessee volunteer. Uh, I wouldn't take anything back. Uh, I'm really proud of what we've done uh, all the time we've been here. Uh, I think we've helped a lot of people, and a lot of people have helped us the same way. Uh, but yeah, like we've talked about before with Joe, uh, I think the culture that coaches have created here is great. Uh, we have no problem with not one of our teammates ever being five years here. Uh, that talks about how good uh, coaches are recruiting and how much they know about the guys they recruit. They kind of want a certain profile of players, and it's been great for us. We've had, uh, I think the teams have been tighter and tighter uh, with the years, and uh, we know they're going to carry on. Same way uh, Grand Admiral and all those guys pass us the torch, uh, we're going to pass it along, and I know the guys that are coming and Shaq, Sakai, Jonas, and all the guys that are still going to be here, they're going to carry on and keep that culture. And I think that's what makes Tennessee uh, a special place. Santi, Coach talked about your competitiveness. Like if you were playing chess, you'd want to win that. Is that something you developed at an early age or did you have to work on as, as you? Now, uh, that's definitely I got from my family, uh, if I had to say, definitely from my dad. And then both of my uncles, mom and dad's side, uh, I know they if they hear this, uh, they're going to be proud, but they always, like, since I was a kid, they wouldn't let me win at anything. Uh, same with my dad. Uh, he's really, really, really competitive. And I think just growing up with that, uh, always trying to beat him, trying to beat him. It didn't take me long. Uh, now I beat him easily in whatever we play at. But uh, now I think that actually developed my character and then just kind of finding my way in life uh, through basketball, uh, whatever I went to. Uh, just develops that competitiveness that uh, I think it's a talent, to be honest. What are those memories from showing up in the middle of that season five years ago and throwing straight in? Sort? That first game, I can still remember like it was yesterday, to be honest, uh, coming in and playing against LSU. I still remember the first play of the game, fell in slow motion, of course turned it over, but that was kind of a welcome to reality moment. But uh, yeah, it was big moments, really, uh, making those first couple threes, uh, seeing the stadium go off, and it was an environment that I wasn't used to playing in, uh, and it really meant a lot to me. Uh, it felt nice, felt great, and yeah, pretty much remember everything that happened since. I didn't think that Ruin Josiah don't understand about the offense and defense at this point. It just seemed like you two could... Well, uh, I heard an interview uh, that Coach was talking about it, and we really feel that way. We've been here for five years, so uh, if you look at our play playbook for the past five years, there's more plays that you can count, and there's some that we don't run anymore, some that we still do, or some that we bring back, and I think that's what me and Joe come into. Uh, sometimes Coach would ask us, like, how do we used to run this play, whatever, and we still remember that uh, from so many years and repetition and – just being a part of the program, uh, I think we've gotten to that point where we pretty much know all the plays that we run in the past, and it's great. Uh, it's great from the perspective of we can direct from the court to uh, telling guys where they're supposed to be, what not to, and uh, if we got to change something, of course, uh, Coach was the one that's going to come up with, and we're going to talk through it, and it's just great to be in that position. Whoa, what a question. Uh, I haven't thought that far yet, but uh, I probably think that at some point in my life, I'm probably going to be wanting to be a coach uh, just from the love of basketball. And uh, yeah, just the way we see basketball, I think Joe will feel the same way, but uh, I think it'll be a great, great place to be at in the future, being a coach. Any favorite Rick Barnes Saints? Oh, I got countless, but... Uh, I just, from coach, uh, regardless of like sayings and stuff, just the main messages that he's given, uh, either if you don't play defense, you're not going to play or, uh, just like the main message that he always gives that he wants people to give effort and then give all they have on the court. Uh, I think that's the biggest takeaway for me. Uh, coach is a great motivator. Uh, I think he makes the guys play as hard as they can and, uh, yeah, a few play as hard as you can. You give all uh, your all. You can, you can have. Bless you. You can do right or wrong things, but uh, as long as you play your hardest, uh, you're always going to be in a good space.
Do you have any other favorite sports moments from UT that are not men's basketball related? I have a couple of them, yeah. Uh, throwing first pitch at the baseball game was definitely fun. Uh, football definitely was uh, – I have two games in mind. The one against Ole Miss, uh, we ended up losing, but it was a crazy game. Uh, so I remember being in the stadium, couldn't even walk. So many people we had around. And then, of course, the Alabama game. Uh, had to be, uh, had the chance to be a part of that one. Ended up on the field uh, as much as I thought I wasn't going to rush it. Found myself on the field and watching that cold post uh, go by. Then I have plenty from other sports. Soccer, of course, the main one. Two, uh, just going daily, uh, like sunny days and being able to sit on that mound. Uh, my girlfriend Prince played in the soccer team, so really enjoy watching him along. Uh, uh, the season, it was really, really fun to watch him play. And, yeah, I mean, many different sports, too. Tennis or whatever sport you want to bring up uh, at some point in uh, my time here. Definitely watched them and supported them. And it's been a great journey. Or Brissotti. Is there any chance we see the arm bite celebration? Ooh. Uh, it depends on the mood. Uh, definitely uh, something I'll be thinking about. I have it in the back of my mind, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still there's still time to do it. Uh, so it might come out, it might not. I really don't know. Did you know what the fact that you had box was? Cause... No idea. I had to go ask one of the coaches. I was like, yo, he just said box of Cracker Jacks. I don't even know what that is. Is it good? Is it bad? And then they explained to me uh, what it was. Still had no idea what it was. You coach, are you going to send kids to the stairs or the first one? Depends on where we at. If I ended up at Tennessee, uh, yeah, if we're downstairs in TBA, it's definitely going to be the stairs. Up in Pratt's going to be Versa Climber. Thank you, guys.